Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Tuesday. It's nothing special. It's just a Tuesday. But we are live, and I'm early because I don't know why. I don't know. But we're here, and today I'm going to give this make a bowl with resin thing another try because my first attempt was a fail at best. So we'll see if I can make it work today. I don't know. So, what up, y'all? I hope you all are having the bestest Tuesday that you've ever had. We're having a rainy Tuesday. However, it's not really cold, so that's cool. Always a plus. So, ingredient list. I have two bowls, because that's what I'm going to use to make my shape. Hi, Moose. Go lay down. I have some glass that I was using for my geodes. It's just crushed up chunks of glass. Um, this is used for like fireplaces and fire pits and geodes. I have quick coat because as this is just a test and it's for a live, I want it to set up as fast as possible. This is not food safe resin, so I wouldn't use this on anything that your face is gonna be on. So um, if you were to use this for this, then you would then need to coat it with um, art coat or the countertop coat or any other uh, food safe UV resistant resin that you may have in your um, repertoire. And I have my measuring cup and some little mixing cups. And I'm out of my, no, I'm not. My bees. Congrats, Rusty. Sales are good. I wish I could put subtitles, Linda. Have fun on your conference call though. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Um, Robin, I sent you an email a little bit ago. So, this is how the last one turned out. I didn't put a second coat on it yet. I figured if I had any more left over, then I'll just put it on here. But, I'm going to have to chop this one up as a dud, I believe. Anyways, let's leave that one in the past. Um, sure, I'll pop that balloon today. I don't think it'll be anything exciting. I don't even know if it's going to work. But before I do that, let's, um, I also have this saran wrap. This is a, the wrap that we use for our packaging and things like that. It's clear saran wrap. I think this is like a mover saran wrap, right, B? Yeah, I mean, it's just a... So I'm using this because I needed it to be big enough to line the inside and outside of my bowls. Hey, will you hold this? Unfortunately, these things don't come with a sharp thing to, is this gonna work? A sharp thing to, um, Serrate, cut. Ooh, quick moves, Lee. Quick moves. So this one's gonna go on the inside of one of the bowls, and then I'm gonna do another one for the outside. I really don't care if it's crinkled that much because I'm gonna texture it with the glass. My main reason for having this is to keep um, my resin off of my bowl and you can probably use like kitchen saran wrap I would imagine it's the exact same 
I'm just making sure it's pushed down on the corners since um, I'm a genius and I decided to use a square bowl. It's probably easier if it's a square bowl. But it's not sticking to itself like I thought it would, so that's fine. Because the weight of the resin and the other bowl. Okay, here's my idea. I'm going to put glass and resin in here, and then I'm going to put this in there to hold the shape of the bowl. In theory. Now I need another piece of saran wrap to go over the outside of this since this is going to be on the inside, and we don't want the resin to stick to this. Hey y'all. Should I hold this? We are teamwork masters, B. Oh, now it'll stick to that. That's fun. So, just get it in here. So this is gonna be my inside part and that's gonna be my outside part. And I'm gonna put it in there like that and hopefully make a bolt. Hi, Michelle B. Sandra, we just started. I just went over my ingredients, my accoutrement. And so, have a good day, Margaret. Paula, how do you like South Africa? I feel like that's a gorgeous area. That's just a feeling. Hey, Jen. You're crazy, Jen. Preesh. Y'all are so great. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this so that maybe layer it. Like, put the glass in the bottom. Put some resin. And then, like, work my way up the sides with the glass. Because my reason for the glass is for a few different reasons. I want to have the structure, the prettiness, and... A way to hide any folds because of the um, saran wrap being wrinkly. Also, um, I feel like the glass will help keep this bowl lifted off of this bowl because if I just put it in there, it may just squish all the way down and you know mush all the resin out. So, well, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna push all the resin out, but. You kind of want that, because how, how is she going to put the resin in there? You're just going to dump it in there? I think you should put this around there. Okay. So that that doesn't move. It's a great idea, B. Um, and so that if it does drip out, then... It doesn't get on the bowl. Yeah. Um, Larry, no fear. We will play the stripper intro, outro. It's in. You did. He said he missed it because he wasn't here on time. Tardy for the party. Granted, I was here early. So Jeff just made a skirt in case it does um, mush out. It's got this tape so that it doesn't get into any of the cracks and crevices of the saran wrap to my bowl. These bowls were our very first purchase for our home when we first moved in together. Fun fact. What was that? I don't have any idea. So I'm gonna just pour some of this glass into the base. Either someone's scaling the wall or someone's scaling the wall. So I just have one layer of glass on the bottom of this.
That's what I thought would happen, Doris. So I'm gonna use Quick Coat as I just discussed. This is by Stone Coat Countertops. It's one of my favorite resins, definitely one of my favorite resin brands. You can find their products down in the link below in the description box. This is obviously not gonna take that much resin, so we're just gonna make, well. I would make a little bit more than you think, I think. Agreed. Just because we can it's cover gonna some have to coasters. be even. Not. You do have that ghost stories look on your faces. Well, it's, it's rare that we hear anything knocking on our windows. One time when we were on eight, someone literally was knocking on our window and asking for Jeff, and we were on the eighth floor. <laughs> Jeff was in the other room. I was in the studio, which was by the windows, and I heard knocking. I was like, uh... Well, the windows up there, they, they built... They built you know the the lofts so close to each other that it's a window like window window and they built the wall right there so you can literally open a window and look inside your next door neighbor and the next door neighbor was having a party which a guy found out i live next door so that's why he was knocking on the window he was leaning out of the window <laughs> knocking on ours like is jeff home i'm like our door works like you can knock on it and so then I had to call Jeff to the window. That was funny. To talk to a friend of his. Anyways, now, every time I hear anybody knocking on our window, I'm like, Jeff, you have friends over, I'm sure. So if you guys are new to the channel or new to Quick Coat, I will tell you that this is not for beginners. It is a super hyper fast setting resin. Um, you still have to mix it for like three minutes-ish. But then you only have at most like 15, 20 minutes to work it. So uh, it's definitely not for big art pieces or people that like to take their time with anything. Yeah. And if you're used to working with regular art coat resin, which you can get up to like two hours with, and then one day you decide to do something with this resin, you're probably gonna waste it because you're gonna forget that you're working with something fast setting. Whenever you're mixing any kind of resin, make sure you scrape the sides, the bottom, and your stir stick so that you get a really good incorporation of your resin. I am also some cramp. I'm also go going to mix in some glitter. I'm going to use ice blue and halo. Rod, I don't see why that. I mean, that should work just fine for a small jewelry mold. I'm not trying to load this up too much because I want to still be able to see the glass that's in there. but I can't not use this glitter. I mean, have you seen this? I just wanna wear it. <laughs> Dora scared the cable guy. It happens. Yeah, I'm gonna go see that movie with Kevin Hart. Is it out today? I'm pretty sure it's been out. I haven't seen it in the thing. Ooh, look how pretty this mixture is. Mm -hmm. It's ice blue and hollow. But there's also a lot of bubbles in here from my mixing these two parts together. So it'll actually be a lot more clear. All right. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to run it down the sides, actually, because I want to have something there for me to be able to stick some glass to. And I know it's gonna run down, so I'm not gonna like. Now I'm gonna just like 
set these up on the sides in theory because they're probably going to run down. Gravity's not having too bad of an effect, but you still need to make sure you move relatively fast because it's quick coat. This is the thing. This, the more glass you put on the sides, the less room you're gonna have to put this bowl in there. Well, I wanted it to kind of, the glass to be part of the reason why it's lifted. No, I that, thought you were trying to put it up the side. Well, I was. I'm gonna try to. So I'm just trying to stick some to the side so that it's not just all at the bottom. I don't care how much sticks to the side. So I just want some. So that the design isn't just all glass on the bottom. It's like, like a fade. I may have too big of a vision for this. I, I think you do because you, you what's what's going to happen is you, um, when you put this bowl in there, you're going to have to put you're going to have to pour the resin in mm -hmm. into the sides. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be big gaps. Put a bowl in a bowl, you are putting a bowl in. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> so. Don't, remember that's glass and you do yeah. that, you've most likely punctured it by now. <laughs> well, it's not turning back. I'm gonna have to make more resin. Somehow. No! Be a good call on putting that stuff on the outside. The tape. Yeah. Maybe a syringe would have been smart. I'm gonna have to make more resin for sure. I was hoping that because I put that glass in the bottom, it would hold it up a little bit so that this would be a bigger gap, you know? Right, once you know how the balloon came out. It's over here. Still a whole balloon. I feel like I'm gonna have a thin side. You feel like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, why did you just take that out? So that I can try to even it. <laughs> now it's all at the bottom. I thought for sure I made plenty enough. So now that I know that I didn't, I'm gonna hurry up and make the more. This is this is not a good idea to, to do what she's doing. Yeah, don't use the same cup. Especially with quick coat, because that will just the stuff that's setting up in there right now is just gonna make this stuff set up even faster. Mm-hmm. You get me a syringe. See, this is really too. Thank you.
Jeff, I got my apartment up to 73 degrees. Can I pour resin now? Yes. Basically, Eva. For some reason, an ashtray comes to mind. It may end up being an ashtray instead of a bowl. Nobody smokes in this house. No, but. Just fill them up. Get in there. This is definitely easier than my popsicle stick method. You need to not fill it up so much so that you can. This is, this is gonna look like a kindergartner made this when this is done. He has such faith in me. When this works, you're gonna realize that it was genius. Should I put that brick in there in the middle? You would think that it's ceramic, it's heavy enough, right? Well, you can always just do that just because. Um, we are, Gina, I'm gonna put a, uh, a brick in there in a minute. Something to consider is I can't. Um, we grab that brick down there, love. Right over there. Um, I can't heat this to get rid of the bubbles. Oops. I didn't put it in the center over here. Over here, and this is right there. Okay. know where this resin's going. I swear there's a, a hole in the bottom of it through the bottom of the table. There's probably a gap because this doesn't fit in there because of all of the glass on the side and on the bottom. So it's like gonna so, be mean, a bigger. I just want it to fill it. That's what I was thinking, Jen. There's no way that this thing is gonna hold more than the amount of resin that I made. There's no way. I 
mean, maybe there's a way. I need a bigger syringe. You could have just made a lot and put it in a ketchup bottle. That would have been genius. Next time, eh? No? Okay. Ooh. Almost a misfire. I cannot believe this. I'm going to have to make more resin. I'm going to use a different cup this time though because I'm pushing it already. I'm so glad you guys don't mind when I have like mad scientists ideas like this one what I just I, what am I gonna do you're gonna be loving and supportive just like you are because you're the bestest one all right. I think I should stick with the same amount or like up it. I, I, I have no idea. Cause I can't see in there, so I, I don't know. You think we should catch it bottle this or is it like OBE at this point? Like. It'll just be a waste. I'm so determined for one of my crazy ideas to work. It's time. Doris, wasn't that Nick? He's in New Zealand. I, I, I'm pretty sure. The wood turner. He's awesome. He does awesome videos. Six AM in Brisbane. We will be there a couple months. I swear. Take your time, part A. It's not like we're on the clock or anything. Very good enough. Um, Michelle, we put some saran wrap down on the inside of the bottom one and on the outside of the top one. Well, Trudy, we have that brick on the top of it. I mean, that's pretty good amount of weight I, I feel like we're always just feeling like uh, what does that mean I'm using blue ice glitter from just resin ice blue glitter and also my all-time favorite right now Silver holographic. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I just want to put this color of glitter on everything. Dora says, I can't find the video, but I think it was Bobby Duke.
Yeah, it was either that guy or Nick. That's awesome. I'm not the best at molding, but I'm not afraid to experiment. And I think that not being afraid to experiment is important when doing your artwork. I think that if you just rely on other people's techniques or anything like that, that Trudy, what are you talking about over there? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, you got to be careful with alcohol inks and have a fire extinguisher on hand because that stuff will get crazy with a quickness. What's up, Laura Taylor? I agree, Lou. They should join poor people's group and share what they're coming up with. Totally should have done a ketchup bottle. Live and learn. You guys at home, use a ketchup bottle. Larry, if it works, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's, it's I'm worried that when she pushed that bowl down that the glass might have punctured the the wrap the wrap and it's it might just stick to that bowl and then we've ruined two bowls. saying let's see I have one spot on the canvas that is tacky Ooh, you didn't get a good mix in yeah that that's not good I hope it's not an, an integral piece of your painting because you're probably gonna have to dig that spot out see I can't I don't want to That brick definitely adds some weight. We should have put this on a Lazy Susan. Now it fills up. Of course, Jenny, you could give us a shout out. We would love that. We'd appreciate it. And congrats on that. But Jenny, don't sit back. You've still got to pimp yourself out. <laughs> just because one person says, hey, come do this, don't... Don't you know, rest just, on your laurels. Yeah, like just keep that up the more you do it the more you're gonna get out there keep ahead yeah. don't ever get behind on your sales one more syringe and we're good This is a messy endeavor, but I feel like it'll be good. All right, we're all the way up to the edges, all the way around. And we have this. Let me find some coasters. So. 
They're right here. No, I mean like ones that we need to. Like, why not add a glitter layer to some of these? Because I feel like that's a lot of glitter in there, and I might cover that up. But if you want to, do it. Well, some of these I don't care if they get covered up. This is not a good look. All right, well. Charlie, hello Charlie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I try to make use of every ounce of everything that we use. Will you um, fire that? Kat says, I don't think she knows what she's doing. Who? I don't know, I think she's talking about you. Oh yeah, I'm 92% I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of times I just wing it and have no idea no, where I'm headed, but what I was saying, um, impossible. What is that? Impossible channel. Impossible channel. I wasn't saying there's too much glitter. I'm just saying sometimes you put too much glitter in the resin and then put it on a piece you've already done, and you won't be able to see it. It will definitely cover the the piece. Thanks, Dan. Um, it's it's a place called Whippersnappers here in Dallas, and if you can see the upside, I painted the entire outside of their building. Uh, me and this guy did one side, 65 by probably 15 foot wall, and they put a lot of, I mean, just a part of it, obviously, just on the, on the upside of their hats. Um, and now they painted the front of it. Me and her painted the front of it, we hit those with heat. Um, and they just painted the front of it to look like the drunken clam. Like they painted it over. But it's been about two years. Yeah, it's been a while. Trying to utilize every bit of the resin I made up. We don't waste resin around here. This is like, I think this is like dry. Yeah. I'm starting to set up. This looks good. These would be a nice little set. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. What are we talking about? Um, somebody's asking about um, this getting more cells. She saw a lady put alcohol. Alcohol is really hit or miss with cells for me. Like, it does work, but depending on what percent alcohol you're using, you may end up with divots or. You want that to stick to that brick? I just want to get all this out of here. <laughs> and then I'll worry about where stuff is. trying to make this even out. It looks a little lumpy. It's 
So here's the balloon that I was trying to make a bowl with. And while all of this is percolating, I guess we can go ahead and pop this. I don't think it's going to work. I'm scared. Boom! Oh my God, you scared Cujo, you scared <laughs> me, and at least three people at home. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> It looks oh, like a jellyfish. It looks like a jellyfish mushroom. <laughs> I miss. Are you here to see my fail bowl? Yeah. Me too. Okay. Let's cut this jellyfish apart. He said, how do you... You know their little hat? <laughs> Chance says she jumped out of her skin. That's terrible. <gasps> Let me see. It hurt. Does it peel? Hurt by that. Oh my gosh. It's like a swim cap. It does. It remind me of a swim cap. Let me turn this inside out while I peel this off. I am reckless, you guys. It could be a shower cap or a swim cap. What it is not is a bowl that can sustain anything. I just wonder when this is gonna start to smoke. I know. Shouldn't be too much longer. Be... I just hope it doesn't melt that stuff. Well, we'll find out together. <coughs> Bless you. Mm -hmm. I guess you could have left the yellow in there if it went with the other colors that I used in the piece, but it did not. It's very wavy. No, I don't know why it does that. I think it was already too, too done. I wonder what would have happened different if I would have dipped it. Dip, dip. No idea. I think, I feel like in your head, you're saying it would have been a bigger mess. And then... I honestly do not know. All right, you guys. I'm about to turn this bad boy right side out and see if it's bully or not. Also, I did buy the cheapest balloons ever on the market, so that may have something to do with why this is not sticking together. For sure. Give up. I'm surprised that that's not smoking yet, actually. One would deduce that it's always smoked by now. Maybe if I sprayed some Pam on it first, that's dumb. That would have made everything fish eye. <laughs> Michelle B says, what happened to the balloon? The other balloon, the one you popped with the quick coat in it? I popped it. Yeah, that threw all the parts away. It was just, it just was just like a, a little puddle at the bottom. It wasn't anything. Mm -mm. I think it blushed a little bit because I blew the balloon up, and anytime you introduce too much humidity, it um, it tends to blush, and I, I bet that happened too. It was like we're near drawing. 
Well, we're far, far away from the two hour mark, so. Maybe it just needs a little more time and understanding. So we're thinking about carrying resin, you guys. Did we already tell you that? If they're part of the group, they've, they've heard. There's 3,500 people in this group. People still ask if we have a website. <sighs> well, nice little granny shower cap. It's a see-through swim cap. But um, it holds things. <laughs> it's actually like one of those, what's a Venus flytrap? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we're at, right now we're talking to a couple different people. Um, we may have more than two kinds. We might, we, 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 uh, we're just trying to figure out if people will will buy it um, only because we are pretty much a one-stop one-stop resin shop I guess you could say one-stop yeah. art shop so it'd probably be easier just to buy a gallon of resin a board some paints some sticks and voila you got yourself a setup there voila um, Jen, I would heat it up and try to reshape it, but I don't even know what kind of shape this needs to be in other than trash shape. It. Lou, we, we got space. We got some space. Not a lot, but we'll make, we'll make it work. Yeah. We always do. <clears throat> um, Posca pens would be cool too. Maybe we will carry Posca pens. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to do Ow. that just cause I like to use them. So, this should be fun. Bye, Sandra. Thanks for stopping in. This isn't even... It's not even doing anything. You're going to need a warehouse, y'all. I know. Or build up a second floor. That's a thought we've been discussing. We have room for a second floor. Robin, I popped it and threw it away because it was just a smushy mess. And if you think about it, it makes sense that it never would really do much because I took the air. You know, there's no air. Ooh. You asked for it. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a couple different brands. Um... Probably art coat. Um, so, you know, we're just trying to be that one-stop shop for you guys. Crystal Lee, I thought I was going to be able to demold it with you guys here, but it's taking longer than I thought it would. I even used Quick Coat just to be sure I could demold it with you guys. But um, I guess we'll just have to come back on later. Just what? to pop that out. Oh, yeah. We'll just come, since Stone Coat's not going to be on tonight, we are going to go um, date night tonight. We're going to go, did you check see if that movie was there? Mm -hmm. Is it there? Yeah. Word. Um, we are going to movie tonight and do our date night, but we'll come on before we leave to do that and demold this with you guys. I'm not sure what time, but we'll post it in our Facebook group, which is over is it over here? It's over here. ATD's poor people. It's in that list of amazing. I'm, I'm like trying to read this and you're like putting your hand in my face. I'm, I'm pointing at <laughs> all of these things. Like, look. <laughs> yes, tacos for sure. Um, eco resin. That's one of those that I contacted about us testing and they weren't big on chaos. We got evicted and I lost my craft stuff. Well, that's not good. Mm -mm. Can't believe they took your craft stuff. Why are you panting? It's not that hot in here, bro. 
anyways, Jenny June Moonwalker, good luck arting. I'm sorry, Kat, that, that happened to you. Um, but today will be better than yesterday. Somebody I sent them an email for us. What? If they can pay, they have a tax ID number wondering if they can place an order and not pay taxes. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. Hey, Lena. What's up? Oh, then I will send them a message on Instagram. Um, it's a Cat Williams movie, but I can't remember what it's, it's not called. Cat Williams, babe. I'm mean, not, not Cat Williams, Williams. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart and the guy from, uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. um, Heisenberg. What's the movie called? The Upside. The Upside. We'll Anyways. Go at 645. 645. So look for us to come on in about two hours, 15 minutes ish. So around 5 o'clock. We're going to take this out of there and see how it looks. You know, adding this glitter stuff over what was here improved the look of some of these by a lot. Mm. Well, it's mushy. And it's also not hot in here, so it's not... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of chilly. Larry Matthews, I'm Audi 5000. <laughs> Gotta love Larry Matthews. All right, we're out of here. But we'll see y'all at five ish. Five ish. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. And then what? What do you mean, and then what? You're just gonna say that? No, you have to do the bye because I just took Moo out and he'll think it's time. Oh, well, thanks for joining. If you're new, subscribe, please. All that stuff, like, subscribe, hit the little bell button, get a notification. And if you having troubles getting notifications when we go live, what you do, just go to our channel, unsubscribe, and then subscribe, and that should take care of it. You have to hit the bell again. Yeah. Um, and go check out our channel, ATD's Poor People on Facebook. Um, we sell everything we use here pretty much, except for resin. We, we're gonna start at our website, artisttelldeath.com. Go check us out. Bye. I said bye.